and time, with the ascent expected to take about five days. The 19-year-old has tried to climb twice before. On both occasions, the mountain was closed, first by a deadly avalanche in 2014 and then Nepal's devastating earthquake last year. Lisa has been working to achieve this goal since she was 14. You should soon be able to pay less for your power with the long-awaited deregulation of Queensland's electricity industry. D-Day is less than six weeks away and experts say now is the time to start thinking about whether your electricity provider is giving you the best deal. The end to South Southeast Queensland's chronically high power prices could finally be on the horizon. We're paying more because we're not getting the discounts from the energy providers. We're not getting the discounts from the energy providers because there's no competition. But that's about to change with existing retailers preparing for a surge in competition when the industry is deregulated on July 1. They're going to start to be worried that some of the newer providers, some of the smaller providers from Victoria and New South Wales are coming north and they're going to come north with good offers to consumers. Comparison website Canstar Blue says expect companies like PowerShop from Victoria to enter the market. Its rates are among the cheapest in the state. Red Energy is another retailer to keep an eye out for, while New South Wales rate at Mojo Power is also expected to shake things up. Industry observers say be prepared for an onslaught of new plans and incentives. Now is a great time to check with your current supplier and find out what their best deal is before shopping it around when the new players arrive. If they do enter into contract, they have a 10-day business cooling off period. Currently, 15% is the biggest discount on offer in Queensland. That is set to rise after deregulation, but be warned. If you don't pay your bill by the due date, not only will you lose the discount, but you also may have a fee added for non-payment. A timely reminder at a time when power is finally back in the hands of consumers. Damien Hanson, 7 News. It's not every day you get a say in what amenities your area should have. Moreton Bay Regional Council is asking residents what to build at a major new university precinct at Petrie. The community is voting for facilities online. To